Okay guys, you wanted it, you asked for it, you got it. I'm Kristen with another Chance Resale and this is a kind of like a show and tell of all of my luxury purses that I thrifted all of them except for one. So um, I talked about this in a video I think like a week or two ago that if you guys wanted to see my luxury designer purse collection. I wear them. I use them. I don't just, you know, collect them. Um, but they are all secondhand except for one. So I'm proud to say that. Um, so I cannot afford these purses uh, brand new. Um, I will talk about the one that I did purchase brand new um, when we get to it. But uh, let's just get started right off the get with um, Givenchy. So um, this one I purchased, so I will tell you how much I paid. I will tell you where I got, got it from. And like this one came from another reseller. I will put their YouTube link down in the description box so you can go ahead and follow them if you would like. So this is my first and only Givenchy. This is a brown leather kind of bucket bag. I did show this when I unboxed it from Leslie Black Dog Vintage. Um, you have the Givenchy hang tag. It is a crossbody. It's got brown, beautiful leather, and it has the um, like the lighter brown suede inside the little holes. You have a little heart on the drawstring, and then so I have not worn this one yet. Um, I will probably wait until the fall and then this will be like my fall bag. Um, it is all leather on the inside. I paid, I think this one was $175. So $175 for the Givenchy and I did look it up online before I decided to purchase it and they're selling for like double that or more. So love it. Can't wait to wear it in the fall. Okay, then I have one Louis Vuitton because honestly, I'm not really a fan of the the print, like the, not really a fan. I know Gucci is very similar. Um, I do like their like brightly colored ones or like solid color ones. Um, but I did happen to stumble upon this one. This is the Alma um, at Savers. Um, it was in with the regular purses. It was not, you know, on like the specialty wall, which most of them on that wall are fake anyway. Um, this was sitting there for, I mean, I didn't get there till like the afternoon that day and it was still sitting there. I think people thought that this was fake. I kind of thought this was fake at first too. I showed this in a video back I think when I was still at my apartment and I had you guys help me decide if this was real and you guys said that it is real. Um, and I, you know, you can tell by the leather, it does get dark like that after, you know, use and after your hands oils touch it and stuff like that. Um, it does have the lock, it doesn't have the key. I've carried this one a bunch of times. I usually only take this one out to dinner. Um, I have taken it, you know, on a on a day to day thing, um, but usually I just take it out to dinner because it definitely draws attention, and I not really like that. Like, if you notice the the bags that I have are not very like in your face. Um, Anyway, so inside I still have <laughs> I have my old Gucci wallet. So this, I mean, you can tell I've used this Gucci wallet until it's literally falling apart. This I got off of Poshmark for like 60 bucks. It was obviously in much better condition. I love this wallet. Oh, I have to actually get my wallet. My It's just like this one. Um, I love this wallet. It's still in really good condition. Um, I, I mean, it's... The outside, it's just the canvas that is all not jacked up. But I had gotten this one on Posh for I think like 60 bucks. Um, but the, these are the kind of wallets I like. I don't usually carry cash with me, so if I do, I'll just fold it and put it in like so. But that's my Gucci that I got off of Poshmark. And I'll go grab the my current one that I'm using after I show you guys 
So I just have a couple other things in the bottom here, but the, the inside is not very clean. You know, it's stained. I did try to clean it. It's quite disgusting, but I don't care because I paid $40. It was $39.99 at Savers and nobody, I guess, thought it was real. Okay. So let me go grab my current wallet and I'll be so right back. So this is my current Gucci wallet. This is like the hard uh, coated canvas. Um, this one I got at the antique mall that I used to have my antique booths in. This was in the case and I think it was only $45 when I asked, um, you know, the manager to open up the case that I could take a look at it and I saw that it was only $45 I nearly fell over I'm like here take my money <laughs> so, so as you can see like you know my you know cash folded up and then I have my cards which you're not gonna see and then you know there's my there's the Gucci right there so um this is my current wallet love it that's the kind of wallets I like um, so it was $45 at an antique mall. Um, okay, so while we're on the topic of Gucci, um, you guys saw me, hopefully you saw me, open up the designer box, thread up designer box that had this lovely lady in it. I cleaned it up. I conditioned the leather. leather and um, I've worn this a few times now, and it is so comfortable. I mean, this strap is just awesome so um technically i guess you can say it cost me 140 dollars even though i will make money on the other items in that box um you can just say 140 i guess um okay so then also in a thread up diy designer i got this this gucci purse um this is this actually matches my wallet perfectly um, I've worn this twice now, um, and I obviously I do take it with my wallet because it matches perfectly. It's like a little baguette, perfect for going to dinner with. Um, it's actually in excellent, excellent condition, except the inside is peeling, which is very normal for these vintage Gucci's, but I don't care. So, um... I guess you can technically say I paid $140 max on this one too, but like I said, with the other one, I did um, sell some other things out of this box, so love it. Okay, then this Gucci bag I got at Savers, the same Savers as the Louis Vuitton. I saw this, so when I first go to Savers, and you know, it has the wall of purses. <sighs> Sorry, there's some fuzz on it. Um, I kind of do a quick scan to see if I see any like patterns that stick out to me. And I had saw this one like sticking out, and then I saw like two ladies that were on the other end working their way towards me, and I'm like, <gasps> and I like ran for it and I grabbed it and I didn't even look at it and I put it in my cart and then I went back to the beginning and started to like go you know through each of the purses and this is authentic okay it's I love this one I wear this one a lot um I've taken it to dinner I've taken it on like a day-to-day -day, you know just like a daily thing because like I said it's I like things that aren't too in your face with the with the you know logos and stuff I kind of like it to be like a little inconspicuous a little bit so I have taken this one you know out on a day-to-day -day basis um and then always under the Gucci right there so this one was ten dollars you guys 9.99 at savers the same savers as the 39.99 Louis Vuitton Okay, and this one was in, was in really great shape. The only problem was there was like a, a bleach spot that was right here, but I just used a black permanent marker. Well, nobody knows the wiser, right? And it has the leather trim right there. So I love it. It's a great bag. Okay, then the only 
luxury designer purse that I've purchased retail is this one. Okay, so this one I purchased when I was on vacation in Rhode Island. I think it's in Massachusetts. There is a outdoor like outlet mall and they have like all the designers, all the brands, everybody that you could possibly think of. It is ginormous. The place is huge. Um, so they had a Gucci outlet. So we went and between Kyle and I, we probably spent... We probably spent about $1,600, but we saved up for it. So we knew that we were gonna go, so we saved up for it. This this one, I actually got this one because it was on sale. So technically, it wasn't really retail, it was on sale. <laughs> so, um, but it's not a crossbody, which kind of stinks. This um, is not long enough to go crossbody. Um, it's kind of like, so I don't I don't particularly like shoulder bags all that much. So I've worn this one maybe four times now. It's definitely more of a uh, fall winter color. Uh, it is all leather, and inside. So um, so the other colors, okay. The other colors in this bag were $820, okay? This one was on sale for $560. So I'm like, that's almost half price. So I, I asked the lady, I'm like, is there a reason why this one is so much cheaper? Is it there's something wrong with it? And she said, no, it's not just this one, it's this color. Um, usually when you know the outlets have a color or a style that doesn't sell fast enough, they just put it on clearance, you know, put it on sale. So um, I got this for, what I say, 560. Um, so like I said, the original price was 820, I think it was. So I think that's a deal. And would I normally pay this much for a purse? Absolutely friggin' not. But you know, while you're on vacation and we saved up for it, so we, we splurged. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Fendi, which is actually what I have the most of. Um, my oldest Fendi is this one. And I got this so long ago. I got this probably going on seven years ago on Mercari for like 60 bucks. I don't think the person knew what it was. Fendi there. Um, the only thing with this one is it, it is splitting. I did not buy it like this. This happened over time. So I just have to glue that back together but um, I take this one, I use this one all the time when I go out to the bars or a club or something and I don't wanna be bothered, you know, hands-free and it's little, I just put my phone, my wallet and like a lip gloss or something and, and that's it. So, and then the inside has the Fendi plate and then for Fendi, they do the um, serial numbers uh, in like a metallic writing, usually on the inside pocket. Um, so there's that one, the small little baguette. Like I said, I like to be discreet so you can't really see the Fs on it, you know? Um, so Mercari, I think I said 60 bucks. And then this one would be my next oldest. I love this one. I I carried this for like three years straight. Um, this is a crossbody. This one I had sent in to Rago Brothers twice already. Uh, Rago Brothers um, is a luxury brand, um, like fixer upper, like they fix purses, shoes, you know, clothing, whatever. Um, While well, they actually specialize in uh, purses and shoes, luxury brands. So I had gotten this fixed by them twice already. 
Um, but this, I love this one. It is like a camera style bag. It is my favorite. It is my go-to. The inside is all jacked up because of my nails. Look, see all that? That's all holes that I taped up because my nails go right through it. <laughs> There's the Fendi, but it's the inside of the bag. I don't care. I tape it up. It's just for me. And then, like I said, the serial number is like a metallic uh, font on the inside of the zipper. So this one I got from Poshmark for $250. This one, like I said, is my go-to. I use it all the time. Okay, then um, this one. So I don't know if this one is real. Um, I have no idea. This is a little Fendi fanny pack, belt bag, whatever. Um, it's very, very small. It barely, barely fits me. Um, I, I do think it's real because this right here is just like the pull on mine, except I've turned this one inside out and I cannot find any serial numbers, but like I've shown you on the other bags, it's just a metallic font and it could have completely worn off over time. Um, I was going to send it into the real real, but they're going to automatically say that it's not real because they can't find a serial number. So I'm just going to keep it for myself. And I have used this before, um, except the only thing that sucks is that my phone doesn't really fit in it. You have to like really like shove it in there. So, um, but Dallas, it's okay. There's nobody here. So this one I got at Goodwill for $6. Um, like I did with the, like I did with the Gucci, I saw it hanging on the rack. I grabbed it, put it in my cart and I didn't even look at it until like I was done shopping. And then I went to a quiet little corner, but I figured like the material feels nice. This looks, you know, legit. So if you guys have any input, let me know. The inside feels like a really nice leather. There are none like it online. It's definitely vintage. Um, so six bucks at a Goodwill. Then I got, okay, so also from Leslie Black Dog Vintage, I purchased this Fendi tote. I literally could not email her fast enough for this. <laughs> um, I normally don't like big bags, but this one I've actually carried like four or five times already. And it's actually very comfortable on the shoulders. Um, there are a little bit, like there, you know, there's a little bit of damage, but I don't care, you know. I can't afford these bags brand new, so I'll deal with a little bit of flaws. Um, so it's really big, it's a really big tote. Um, like I said, I've carried it a few times already. The inside is really nice and big and blue, and there's your plate right there. Um, so this one um, I got from Leslie for $250 and that was, that was a lot for me. <laughs> I'm very cheap when it comes to buying stuff for myself, um, but I really love Fendi. I really love this bag, so I treated myself. Um, okay, then lastly, my last bag is this Fendi. I love this Fendi. Um, it's kind of like a little... Dr. Satchel, it it has a lot going on with it. There's a lot of things wrong with it, but I don't care. <laughs> so there's, a, you know, some discoloration here. Um, the Zuka print is actually, the coat of canvas is actually in pretty good condition, as is the bottom and corners, surprisingly. It's just the strap, like right here, it looks like somebody tried to um, re-sew it right there but that's the back, so I don't care. Um, so the handles have a lot of discoloration from the oils on your hands. And then the, let me just see something. So the zipper is broken. Like it still has the hang tag, but it doesn't close, which I don't normally close my bags anyway, so it do that doesn't bother me. And the inside is actually really nice. The inside actually doesn't really have anything wrong with it. 
except there's a little bit of peeling along the top. So, um, and then, so I mean, overall it's not bad. I paid 20 bucks for it. 20 bucks at an estate sale. I, I thought, I think they thought it was fake because it was sitting next to a fake Gucci bag and like a really tore up Liz Claiborne, I think. The one with like the L's all over it, like the LC's all over it. Um, so 20 bucks and I snatched it up. I have worn this one time um, out to dinner. Like I said, I don't care if it looks like it's used because it's been loved by somebody and now it's being loved by me. So 20 bucks at a, at a estate sale. And then this is the last thing. I hope I'm not forgetting anything, but this is uh, my last item that I got. This is my only Burberry. This I got from Marilyn from uh, Shady NY. And I paid $150 for this. I currently use this. See, I have all my stuff in there. <laughs> and there's the Burberry. So I currently use this right now in my purse. So right now I am using this unless I'm going thrifting. When I go thrifting, I do not carry my designer purses. I think that is, I don't know, I, I don't like that look of somebody in Goodwill with a Gucci bag or a Louis Vuitton bag or something. So I don't wear my designer bags to thrift. I wear my, um, I'll actually go get it. Um, but yeah, so this is $150 from Marilyn Shady NY. I will put her link in the description box as well. And it's not a luxury brand, but I'll go show you what bag I've been using because I'm about to retire it. So this is the bag I've been using all summer. Can you see the color? This is a, it's really dirty, do not judge me. Mark by Mark Jacobs. Um, I clean it like every few days because literally this color, you can see all the dirt. So I got this at Savers. The same savers as the Gucci and the Louis Vuitton, and I got this one for 15 bucks. All right, it's the, you know, and I got all my stuff in there. Um, I do not use the top flap. The only problem with this bag now is that it's got all the transfer from my jeans. See it all? But um, I will be, um, I probably will be retiring this one at the end of the summer. But this one, so Mark by Mark Jacobs, 15 bucks at the same savers as the Gucci, Black Gucci, and the Louis. So that is everything. So as you can see, I do not pay retail prices, especially for uh, luxury brands. Um, I do get ex really happy when I do find them because it's not often at okay, all. Okay, well, that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I don't pay, you know, retail for things. Like I said, I, I just did that one Gucci outlet for um, a vacation and we saved up for it. Um, I also got a pair of shoes that day and Kyle got a pair of, well, sneakers and Kyle got a pair of sneakers and sunglasses. So, um, that's it. Oh, I almost forgot. And I got this Gucci ring. I know it's not a handbag, but this is a sterling silver Gucci ring. And I got this on Poshmark. And I love this ring. Um, I think I got it for like 100, I think it was 175. So that was on Posh. Okay, awesome. So let me know what you guys think. Which bag is your favorite? Um, give me that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.